Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. This is part three, the final part. The headlines and links will be posted in YouTube's video description on my website is ggnonline.com and ddarko2012-2013 on my YouTube channels. Why am I showing you this page? Well, I'm trying to go in there and edit. I just posted my second video for tonight and I can't seem to go in there and edit it. So, um, when our little buddy censors um, like to do what they're doing, like I'm trying to go in here and censor the other one, try to censor it, try to edit it. Ooh, this functionality is not available right now, so uh, just just showing you some little uh, glitches, little games that they like to play. And one quick note, there must be something about this video, Lebanon de Destabilizing Syria one, uh, because right off the bat it had a negative one co uh, thumbs down, and then now there's two, and there's not that many views. And also, when I try to go in there, just again, to just to uh, do what I usually do to when I'm posting videos to get information put in there, edit it, um, and my whole computer, everything locked up going in there. So if you do have any problems viewing that first one for today's post, today uh, the first report for today, Lebanon destabilizing Syria, blah, 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 uh, write in the comment board and just let everybody know uh, what these douchebags are doing. Thank you. Well, every day you receive a steady stream of sensationalism and scandal and stories with a message that suggests change is impossible, that you can't make a difference that you won't be able to close that gap between life as it is and life as you want it to be. My job today is to tell you don't believe it. Because as, thing, uh, as tough as things have been, I'm convinced you are tougher. I've seen your passion and I've seen your service. I've seen you engage and I've seen you turn out in record numbers. I've heard your voices amplified by creativity and a digital fluency that those of us in older generations can barely comprehend. I've seen a generation eager, impatient even, to step into the rushing waters of history and change its course. And that defiant, can-do spirit is what runs through the veins of American history. It's the lifeblood of all our progress. And it is that spirit which we need your generation to embrace and to rekindle right now. Two decades civil war in Somalia has made the Horn of African nation to be among the few countries in the world, generating the highest number of internally displaced persons and refugees, with the worst affected being women and children. Women in Somalia have been subjected to violence, harassment and discrimination at every level. Many are forced to give birth in appalling conditions with little or no antenatal or postnatal care. As a result, Somali women are among the most high-risk groups in terms of maternal health care in the world. The war paralyzed the family unit set up in Somalia. Women fled with the children and some were left behind. The children were forced to stop schooling and were separated from their parents. Despite all these challenges, the Somali women have stood up. Despite the challenges, they've brought up their kids properly. If the current draft constitution is ratified in Somalia, women's voice will be heard in the political process for the first time in almost two decades. Tens of millions of pounds of UK aid money has been spent forcibly sterilizing Indian women. Many have died being mistreated, causing outrage from those who suspect Britain simply wants to curb the country's population for ulterior motives. RT's Priya Shreeder has the details of this controversial program. Devanti Devi, a 25-year-old mother of three, is living in one of India's poorest states. Just a few months ago, she went for an operation to be sterilized. Unable to afford or access other forms of birth control, Devi thought the operation would help her family. But it went terribly wrong. I gained consciousness around 12 or 1 in the night. I was made to lie down on a bench. I was bleeding heavily on that day. I came home without being given any medicine. As mandated by the Indian government in its attempt to curb India's growing population, around a million women from Davies region are sterilized every year. She says around 80 women were operated on at this school in just three hours in January. 
After the sterilization camp took place at this school, the police raided the offices of a local NGO and allegedly found video that proves the mistreatment of these women. A new report also shows that many of the NGOs the Indian government uses to run sterilization camps are actually being funded with aid money from the UK. So there you go, folks. Uh, the same people, you know, the same groups like the UK and that, uh, that are in there. They pretty much have control of Somalia right now after a drone bombing out of Ethiopia and, and using Kenyan troops and stuff like that. Uh, these women will uh, be used. Um, they will be used uh, to push a political agenda that will be uh, from the UK. But just so you know, women in Somalia, they don't give a shit about you. In fact, once they get a hold of that area completely, the Somalia, they will start sterilizing you. So, um, also, uh, other people that will be used will be gay people uh, as part of an agenda. Uh, it has to do with population uh, control. So, uh, I guess I keep seeing headlines here, Obama backs gay marriage and Obama, first gay president, he has a halo over his head. So, in this dark time that we're living uh, in during 2012, uh, you're going to see articles like this, you know, uh, people getting sterilized, people going to have a baby and then getting sterilized, not even knowing it. Uh, but the most effective birth control ever, 100% effective birth control method involves exploding sperm. So they talk about injecting a polymer gel into the vas deferis of the penis, which is probably not good for it. It says the sperm are torn apart through the polyelectrolytic uh, effect, which would resemble an implosion if it was magnified. We have superbugs mutate in India, rendering antibiotics impotent and they are spreading. So it goes on and says, no longer a secret, that the drug-resistant bacteria is rapidly emerging and spreading all around the world as a result of this continued overuse and abuse of antibiotic drugs in both conventional medicine and industrial agriculture. But now it appears the genes responsible for spawning these so-called superbugs are also spreading and turning otherwise mild conditions such as throat infections into deadly killers. The next time you go to the grocery store, just start turning over packages and read the ingredients that are being put into your foods. Then we have the United States as the fattest country in the world, the top food offenders that make us fat. It says, gone are the days when it was only fast food that would add to our waistline. Today, it's every day foods that are suspect. So here's an MRI scan of the morbid, morbidly obese 250 pound woman left and a healthier 120 pound woman right. And they go in there and they say how it's actually affecting the muscles and the bones and stuff like that. Um, and then when you go down, it says according to a Harvard, Harvard study last year in the New England Journal of Medicine, they found that the quality of our food matters more than uh, its calorie counting. So this is from April 24th, 2012, but it's still going to be included in another heart attack grill. Customer collapses while eating a bypass burger. We have winning contestant dies during Taiwan college binge eating contest. This is from 2008, but still graduate student died Thursday as he was about to win a competitive eating contest at a college in Taiwan, Reuters reported. And we're still traveling down the road of eugenics. Americans consume 80% of the world's pain pills as prescription drug abuse epidemic explodes. So everything's exploding, right? Uh, it says here, UK addicted to sleeping pills, stress-related insomnia on the rise. Uh, since start of the economic crunch. Oh, FDA seeking prescription drug vending machine thanks to a new move by the FDA to allow the public to diagnose themselves with conditions and purchase the appropriate pharmaceutical drugs from a vending machine, it may become a reality. Then we have drug dispensing robot introduced at Israeli hospital. The hospital has incorporated into its staff a smart robot that administers drugs to patients according to computerized prescriptions. Well, what happens when they make a quote mistake in the name of population reduction well, who's at fault you know because what they're gonna say oh the robot was there to help us minimize errors in drug prescription and distribution so for all you nurses out there yeah I hate to say it, you're dealing out dosing out this you uh, this eugenics most of the time uh, they're basically telling you that a robot can do your job so they're gonna replace nurses and issuing drugs and um, other types of things at Disney World's Living with the Land exhibit, teaching children about genetically modified organisms or GMO agriculture is a fun activity for the whole family. So it says here it has made its way to the happiest place on earth with an exhibit at Walt Disney's World Epcot. I didn't ever knew what that actually stood for. It's the Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. 
theme park now featuring genetically modified fruits, vegetables, some of which are shaped like Mickey Mouse's head. So this is uh, the future, right? This is what they're telling you. And don't forget, this is going to help sterilize you as well. According to different reports, the agricultural exhibit called Living with the Land takes parents and their children on a tour through the live, living laboratories that highlight the wondrous ways scientists are helping farmers prepare for the food needs of our world's nations, i.e. they're talking about overpopulation. One of the words that is synonymous with um, population reduction or control is sustainability. And it says here, Disney has been pushing GMOs on children since at least 1996 uh, with sustainable agricultural in, uh, initiatives. We also have more news on Disney. Disney to let 100 people join the secret club of 33. This is from the, uh, the 9th of May. They've announced that membership within their secretive club 33 is now opening and 100 people on the lengthy waiting list will be invited to join. Of course, we know that 33 is significant to the uh, Freemasons and the Illuminati because it's what? It's one of the last known or visible uh, degrees of their uh, practice, right? They go to 32 in the Scottish Rite and 33, then all of a sudden disappears. Well, no, it keeps going all the way up until like 96 and then 112. So, you know, JFK was what? He was the high king that was sacrificed at the temple uh, in Dallas that day. And uh, what? It was on the 33rd parallel. So a lot of 33 has a lot of significance to them. It says here, UN adopts historic land grab guidelines. The United Nations has adopted global guidelines for rich countries buying land in developing nations. <laughs> okay, we all know what this is about, right? But, uh, yeah. They say, but aid, aid agencies warn it might be difficult to ensure the guidelines are implemented everywhere. Governments have no obligation to apply these measures. It says even here, uh, that the document took three years to draw up and calls on governments to be transparent about the land deals and consult local communities and defend women's rights to own land. Authorities often argue that the big international deals bring investment and new technology to a region, i.e. vaccines and stuff like that and high fructose corn syrup, but this is not always the reality and human rights organizations have highlighted cases where tens of thousands of people have been forcibly removed from their ancestral homelands uh, to make way for foreign investors. Kind of like the UK where they have what? Uh, they have an oil company called African uh, Energy or something like that that they're creating in Somalia now that they've drone bombed the hell out of them. Now they're in there uh, starting to tap into oil. And uh, what? It's a Canadian or uh, British oil company. But it's called African Energy. So the U.S. government will partner with Big Pharma for drug discovery, help the companies find treatments for a host of diseases through a new collaboration. So these will actually be used to, uh, to help carry out the eugenics even more. So... It'll be used to hurt you and call the population. That's what it's really for. Correct the chemical dispersant used by British Petroleum BP during Gulf oil disaster linked to horrific injuries to humans. They are known to be severely neurotoxic. Uh, this Hogan character was completely unable to walk, uh, developed neurological problems as well as vision problems that uh, resulted in permanent blindness. And I've been waiting to get to these stories. Mystery pelican deaths in Peru. 500 birds found dead in the same place as dolphin uh, carcasses. Even more perplexing is it appears that the animals have died onshore rather than at sea. 2,300 birds are found dead along the Chilean beaches. Many of the birds had broken wings and bruising on the outside of their bod bodies consistent with getting trapped in fishing nets. But it didn't have anything to do with that. I mean, look at these guys, man. Sea lions in that. They're bruised. They're bleeding almost. So they're not going to blame anything that man's doing or any kind of um, uh, possible natural changes, i.e. pole shift or anything like that. No, they're going to blame the climate. And they're going to blame the birds for hanging on a little bit too long. 6.2 magnitude earthquake hits Chile-Peru border, so that may have some significance to this. Uh, remember this story I covered before. Mexico volcano spews ash and cloud frightens villagers again. They're talking about Popo, the volcano. This is after weeks of increased activity. The propaganda continues as meteorites from big fireball spark gold rush. Talking about fragments from a fireball uh, in California last month. Of course, these metals and that materials are going to be used for the future for all this uh, new high-tech gadgets that, that we haven't really seen yet. Man implants magnetics to keep iPod at the ready. Then light-powered bionic eye invented to help restore sight to the 
to the uh, patient. But like everything else, it's going to be used for cyborgs and robots. Spy School teaches the basics of intelligence gathering for kids and teens. Tampa Bay Center uh, designed to, for teens will instruct youngsters about surveillance, information gathering, and disguise. City employees are going to earn $100 for reporting crimes and texting while walking is banned in New Jersey. And a woman goes blind after being pepper sprayed by police. Thank you.